Welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. And I'm going to talk to you today about selective exposure. And selective exposure just means that we can actually really get down and dirty with our exposure settings without really worrying about overexposing or doing any of that on the whole entire photo. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here you see we're in our organizer. We're in that album that we just uh, created in the last video. And if you can't really see your photos, you're looking, you're like, wow, I really can't tell any detail here. We can always go down here on the right, on the bottom, and we can zoom up just by sliding this zoom control. All right, that will give you some more uh, detail of your photos. I was looking here a little bit ago, and I thought, wow, this photo over here, I'm going to blow this up is a pretty nice photo but you can see where we're overexposed here I also think it might be a little bit out of focus oh there we go there we go so but this is overexposed right here in the middle okay of my grandson and myself but in the background it looks really nice the background's blown out we get that soft focus look and it's a really good photo but I thought the background is just a little bit overexposed as to us right so what we're going to do here is if you right click on top of the photo, you can go down and click on edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up our editor. There we go. Now these were shot in Camera Raw. So whenever you shoot in Camera Raw, you're going to get the Raw Editor. And I've talked about this before in past videos where you can operate on things like you can uh, work on white balance, you can work on temperature, tint, exposure. So let's just say we took that exposure and we just took it down. We're going to take it down. Oh, look. Not only is it is it lowering the exposure on the background, it's lowering the exposure of us in the foreground. I don't think that's going to work right. That's not what we really want. So maybe we'll draw some highlights. You say, well, we can drop some highlights. And uh, it's not really dropping them to where we want. We're all the way down to the negatives there. We can drop the whites maybe, maybe we can drop the whites, but again, it's not operational doing what we want. So if you're not getting what you want out of the uh, raw editor, we have to open it into the full editor. Let's click on open. And now we are open in our full editor. We are going to go from effects. I was working on another picture. We're going to go to layers. All right, here is our layers. So what you want to do is, I'm going to drop this down to get a little bit more view of the picture here. We have to do a selection. Now there's a hundred ways in Photoshop Elements to do a selection. Let's go ahead and look here. We are going to make a um, selection. So we can do it just by, uh, you know, a square. Uh, we could do uh, elliptical uh, tool. What I think I'm going to use is, I'm going to attempt to use the lasso tool, okay? The lasso tool here, you got the, uh, the polygonal lasso, and we got the uh, magnetic lasso. We're going to try to use the standard lasso tool here, and we're just going to click around myself here. A little tricky here. So we'll just get a little selection going here. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, a little bit on the top there. So primarily you're making this selection. And we'll come back around the legs here to this side here. Okay, so there is our selection. Now obviously if you want to add to the selection, we can do that. Add the selection here. And maybe want to fix right around the top of the hat. So we can add that to the selection. Everything else looks like it's fairly good there. You can refine your edges. Okay, so if you refine your edges, we can actually drill this down a little bit and smooth this out. Okay, so you can go with your uh, smart radius. Let's see what that does. And we'll go with some radius working here. Um, yeah, I don't really like that. We can uh, feather the edges. So you can see where feathering the edges is actually helping us because it's actually working to 
put into uh, soft focus around the edges here. Okay, we can uh, smooth the edges a little bit. And that seems to help a little bit there. All right. Once you get that done, just something will click OK. So we redefined our edges a little bit on this. All right. Next thing we want to do is we don't want to really work on the exposure of us. We want to work on the exposure of the background. So what you have to do is go to Select and Inverse. Okay. When you inverse, now you see that you have the background selected away from us. Now I'll do a Command or Control J. And what you're going to have here is you now have, you see where we're no longer in the picture, and we just have the background. Okay. So now if you missed that, it was make a selection. Go to Select and Inverse. And that's going to select just the background. Do a Command or Control J to create a new layer. All right. What we're going to do now is we are going to go up under our uh, Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer. And we are going to go down to Levels. Once you create the Levels, we're going to close this for a second because if we take this right now, we just go like this. Look, we're still adjusting the whole entire photo. Right? We don't want to do that. Our exposure is fine. We want to drop the background exposure somewhat. So you click on the actual adjustment. You're going to right click on that and click on create a clipping mask. So now that is clipped to the layer right below it. So now if we double click on the adjustment, you'll see now if you watch the background in the foreground, we can start bringing this background down. We can bring the exposure down. Here, I'll bring it all the way down to show you. And you're not really disrupting the foreground image. Okay, so we can bring that down a little bit. We can drop the mids. Maybe you want to drop the mids down a little bit because we still want it to be seen, right? But we just want it to take that away a little bit from the actual photo which the main subjects in the main body of the photo here. You can also do your output levels the same way. You can bring this over to the light, to the, to the left to make it brighter. I'm sorry, the right. You can bring it to the left to make it darker. But all we want to do is just mainly make it just slightly different here. Okay. Just bring down that background exposure a little bit. Now that's a lot better looking photo. You know, it was a well taken photograph, but sometimes you just have to adjust the different areas with the exposure, and you can't do that with an overall adjustment. You have to make a selection and be able to do it that way. Once you get your photograph uh, done the way you want it, click File, Save As, and we're going to go into. Uh, let's see here where we're at our pictures folder and if you watch from the prior videos here you'll see that I did uh, put a name in here Pittsburgh uh, greenhouse and now if you save this as a PSD file remember you cannot get that developed anywhere so we're gonna put um, me grandson edited okay we want to change that from a format from Photoshop we want to change that to uh, you can do BMP JPEG TIFF is a large file size I normally do a JPEG include it in the elements organizer so we should be able to put that right back in the organizer save it in a version set with the original that's always a good idea and click on save This will tell you your quality size. If you're going to have this thing printed, bring it all the way up to the right. It's a very big file size. Now you can bring it down to maybe 10. So 7.9, that's still going to print out. That would print out actually um, 11 by 14. Uh, you can have a very nice photo there. Okay, click OK. 
And if everything works out right, you never can tell here with demonstrations, right? But it's back to grid view. And we'll zoom this down a little bit more. There we go. Go back to our original folder here, the original files. You can see now that we do have a version set here. Okay, we do have a version. Look here, version set, expand items in the version set, and there you go. It still says editing in process because it's still open in the editor, but you get the idea. This way you can have the edited one, and you know the one that you originally started with is in the editor. This is the one we edited right here. So that's what a version set will allow you to do. Keep those files together. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and I hope it's going to help you out editing your photos. That's all I'm trying to do here is trying to give you some tips and tricks to edit your photos. And, uh, you know, don't ever throw a picture away until you put it in the editor and play with it a little bit and see if you can maybe adjust it and make it the way you think that it should look, even if it didn't come out of the camera the way you wanted it. Folks, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial on Photoshop Elements TV. If you've enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. You'll be notified as I post new videos, and I'll be bringing out a whole series of videos for you on Photoshop Elements 2022 and get you moving along in the right direction so you're not afraid to use the program. And I'll never let you hurt one of your photos, right? I'll never get you to delete it. We will always maintain the, the safety of your photos while editing and making some great new memories. So until next time, Keep those shutters clicking. Keep your editors editing. And I'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching Photoshop Elements TV. Bye for now.